Hi everyone, let us solve a legal question called Product Array Exception. So given that the array nouns, we want to return a result of record answer such that answers at uh, index i is equal to the product of all elements or num except a uh, number size cell. Now let's check example 1. So for example 1, the first element is 1. Uh, so multiply the rest 3 elements, this 3, this 3, uh, this 2, and this 4, we get the 24 as the product. And say we move to 2. Multiply the rest three, so one, three, and four, we get this two right. And move to these three, multiply these uh, three numbers, we get eight. And then we move to four, we multiply these three numbers, we get C. Okay, so uh, we must run the algorithm that runs in one time. This means uh, it should be uh, one pass, and we are not allowed to use any uh, division operation. Well, one intuitive way to think about this problem is to keep the left product. So we are multiplying from left to right. The left product will grow according to numbers at i position. And when multiply right to left, the right product will also grow uh, from the position. And finally, we need a result to uh, combine the left product and uh, the right product. Let me see how it works. So let's say the left will be initialized at 1. Okay, so left will be neutralized one. And when we traversing from left to right, uh, we want to multiply the left by uh, numbers at i minus one. So it's the previous position. Okay, so this is the first step. And then we also uh, want to multiply result array, which is the length, uh, same as this numbers array, at i position by this left product. So this for the left, and how about the right? Well, for the right, we also want to initialize the right product at one. And when we're traversing the array from right to left, we want to multiply the right uh, product by numbers i plus one. Uh, so the later position, because we are traversing in reverse order. And once finish that, we also want to uh, multiply results at i index. Uh, by the right product. Okay, let me illustrate our uh, example here. So again, we are starting uh, left equal to one, right? Left in neutralized is one. And the result array, uh, let's use a different color. So we'll be initialized with all ones and the lengths are sent to the numbers array. And uh, the right products currently we don't need because we're currently traversing uh, from left to right. So we're traversing from left to right. And the first thing to check this element. And we found, okay, since i uh, is at second index, numbers i minus 1 is actually at this position, right? So numbers i minus 1 is 1. And we want to multiply this element to left. So left is a 1 multiply 1, so updated 1. And then want to multiply the result at this position by this left. So 1 multiply 1 again is 1, so I don't change here. And next, let's move i to here. So numbers i minus 1 will be 2. Okay, so left uh, will be 1 multiply 2 will be uh, 2. And result at this position will be 1 multiply 2, so change it to 2. And finally, let's move i to here. So numbers i minus 1 is 2. Okay, so left is 2, multiply 3, so it will be 6. Okay, and then this position will be 1, multiply 6, so it will be 6. Okay, now finish the uh, the left and right. Let's finish, uh, let's continue on, on the uh, right to left traversal. So let me uh, change it here and replace with right, maybe with different color here. So right will be initialized uh, as 1. And if we move i2 here, uh, numbers i plus 1 will be 4, right? Will be the last element of 4. So here will be 4. And uh, the next thing is to uh, multiply this 4 uh, to right. So 1 multiply 4 will be 4. And then we multiply this 4 uh, to this position, right? So 2 multiply 4 will be 8. So change it here to 8. Now finish that, let's move i uh, to the previous position. So i plus 1 will be 3. 
okay, now let's multiply 3 by this 4. So we get 12 here. And multiply this 12 by this one. So here we change it to 12. And finally, we want to move, uh, move i to here. So i plus 1 will be 2. Okay, so change it here to 2. And multiply this by 2, right? The right product will now be 24. And finally, we multiply this 24 uh, to this one. So this one will change to 40, 24. You see the result here, right? Uh, is similar to, to this output array. And we are done. Okay, now finish the explanation. Let's dive into the coding part. So the first thing uh, to consider is to initialize the array, right? So, and then we want to run from left to right and right to left and, and return the result array. So the result we initialized uh, with all ones first and with the range, uh, the length of numbers. So let's say L is the length of numbers. And the left product and the right product should be initialized uh, both as one. And for i in range 1 to l, this means we are traversing all the way from left to right. What about by the left uh, by numbers i minus 1, right? And one multiplied result at i position by this left product. Okay, now finish the left to right approach. Let's check the right to left approach. So we're starting at l minus 2, this means the second uh, last element. And we're traversing all the way to the beginning uh, in reverse order. And the right product should be multiplied by numbers i plus 1. And the result at i should be uh, multiplied with this right product. If I will return the result array, it should be done. Okay, so here it should be j, as we are using a different uh, letter here. Okay, let's make the result to see if it works. Okay, you see the time capacity memory usage of this solution is quite efficient, and the coding part is short and easy to understand. If you liked this video, uh, please subscribe to our channel, and see you next time. Thank you.